How to use the expanded widget to create screen responsive layouts in Flutter. Inside a column we add a green container and a red container, whereas each container has a fixed height. Next, to force a widget to fill vertically the entire available space, wrap the widget simply inside of an expanded widget. With this, the red widget fills the entire height till the bottom of the screen and the height of the widget is simply ignored. Let's also wrap the expanded widget around the green container. As a result, the whole vertical space is divided among all the expanded widgets and every expanded widget gets an equal amount of space. Let's also include a flex factor for each of the expanded widgets. With this, the whole height is divided into three portions, whereas the green container gets one portion and the red container gets two portions. Below the red container, we add an expanded container with a flex value of three. As a result to the three existing portions, we have three more portions, whereas the blue container gets three out of these six portions. You also can combine expanded widgets with not expanded widgets, whereas the fixed size widgets get first of all the space that they need. And after all the fixed size widgets got their space, then the remaining part is divided among the expanded widgets. Inside the column widget, the expanded widgets are only expanding vertically, which means if I add a width to a container, then you see that the width is not ignored inside of a column, on the other hand, if you replace the column by a row, then the expanded widgets expand only horizontally and not vertically. So inside a row, the width is ignored for expanded widgets and the height you can simply change to other heights and this will be not ignored and not expanded. And finally, the expanded widget can be only used inside of a row or column and needs to be the direct first shard. You cannot wrap any other widget around the expanded widget. If the expanded widget is not the first direct shard of a row or column, then you get this error. To fix this, simply make sure that you remove the padding and place it instead inside of the expanded widget so that the expanded widget is the first child inside of a row.